Tim's like, well, I love caves. We have to go do the world's largest cave, which is in Phong Nha, which is the name of a national park in Vietnam. So Tim's looking into doing this crazy four day trek through San Dune, which is the world's largest cave in the world's largest cave system. But it turns out that's not the craziest like cave tour. It is the biggest cave there. You spend a couple nights underground, which that's really cool. But then and they had this- And it turns out it's 3,000 US dollars to do. It's the world's largest cave. It's not gonna be free. But then they had this more extreme thing where it's like swimming in underground cave rivers and in the dark and you're abseiling. I'm like, this looks harder. Let's let's do this one. And besides- And it's you, not 3,000 US dollars per person. You can't put a price on an experience. The next almost like more adventurous, higher difficulty was under $700 a person. And it was the same length of time in the same case system. So it was hard to justify like, why would we spend that much money? And we're not working with this company as a brand or I don't know, we usually don't do stuff like that as you guys know. So we were yeah. just kind of like shopping around. So we wind up on this Toulon four day cave trek expedition with Oxalis. <laughs> The tour hasn't started and you're halfway through your water. Well, the more you drink, the less you have to carry. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished King's very scary briefing about all of the scary things we're gonna see in the cave, like snakes, leeches, spiders, and everything that can kill you. We show up there, I'm so sick. I can't breathe out of my face and we have this hour-long PowerPoint of essentially everything that can kill you in the jungle. But we have guides with us to look for that. Yeah, but I was so it's scared safe. of just looking at it. It is a temporary shit show, of course, as you like repack and unpack and repack again everything you thought you were going to carry one way or the other and then we have stuff that's going straight to the hotel at the end of the place. The nature of this tour is we know that we're going in and out of river crossings swimming into caves, swimming out of caves, and like going in all these rivers the whole time. So we're trying to figure out what is the right footwear to use? Are we actually swimming in clothes and getting so... There is no right footwear. It's just your feet are going to be wet the entire time. Just like that, 20 minutes later, it's like we've been packed and ready for this for years. This thing is gonna be hot. I underpacked for once. Yeah. I didn't bring my hat. Yeah. Cardinal sin. Finny, thank you. So, so she gets the souvenir. We hat. bought this for Tim, but it's so small. It's even smaller than me, and I have a little head. So I get to wear this fun hat. It's lined with rubber. That's going to be comfortable. It's if you're cutting weight for wrestling or something to help you sweat a little bit. It's helping with the sinus pressure right now. It's fine, though. It's pretty cool out. The weather report today is our tour litter king told us it's f***ing hot. <laughs> okay, let's. I feel good about this. I feel really good about this. How about you, mermaid? How are you doing? I'm being sun careful. We're kind of baking, but it's got a nice breeze, so we're not as hot as we were at Nimbin, thank God. Oh, here's our river crossing. <sighs> Here you go, fairy. Oh, you are so sweet. Well, you have the camera. <laughs> if you do drop the camera in the water, I won't be mad, because I dropped the camera in the live well, so. I'm just going to wear it. I'm not going to try to film. Okay, you can, that's like, fine. Me I got you. Also, don't put my sock in the middle. It's not even that, it's not even that deep. Don't drop I'm not gonna drop my socks. I'm so scared right now. Alright, my pants are definitely gonna get wet. I'm gonna Pants fine. Don't let the pants wet. You do have to cross, you can't just stand in the water. I'm just saying it's like so close. I know. I will not be surprised if Allison doesn't continue the rest of the four days of caving and just makes a new home here in the river. Oh, the big stuff? Yeah. 
Whoa. That's a lot different than America. <laughs> I think I can keep an eye out for that. Holy cow. This is it too, right? Yeah. Don't. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to touch. You can touch the bow. It's fine. But do not touch on the... This is hairy. Right oh, under. it's just the underside. Yeah, underside. I'll never do that under. Oh. Well, I won't touch the top either. <laughs> just be extra safe. Okay, everybody, poison ivy on the, on the right. Are we surprised or not that you're in charge and on the... Why am I in the front here? Because we all can watch you and be more careful. I'm sorry, I'm crazy. It's kind of like that game you play as a kid, like the lava game. It's like, don't touch anything green. But I am right now. I wish the person in front of me would keep going. Oh, that's sweet. It's massive. Nice Thank you, fun. that was awesome. <laughs> it's like that low. Wow. Ew. Huh. Uh, sandy feet. That's so good luck for the, the tour. Poison ivy as well? No, no poison ivy here. Okay. okay. <laughs> it looks too similar. Never a bad question though, right? <laughs> so this is a small group of just all these people who booked this tour that was so, you know, where you're just like stuck with whoever else booked the tour on the same days and stuff. We end up with this awesome group. I think I was the oldest tourist there. Really? No, I think I was the oldest person on the tour. <laughs> really? Yeah, but the age range was pretty much the same. But as far as the countries people came from and their backgrounds, that was really diverse, which was cool because there were two people there born in Vietnam. They both lived in Texas. There was a couple, an Israeli couple from Tel Aviv that had been traveling all around. And then yeah, we had Doug from Norway who had been teaching English in Northern Vietnam. And this was his time off. So it was like people who had maybe come on a trip specifically for this or people who had been kind of traveling around for a while and this was part of their long-term travel. So <laughs> Good thing I've been on my soup diet right now. <laughs> oh dude, easy peasy. Oh my gosh, you are actually steaming. I'm a tenth of the way into. Oh the day. my god, that looks unreal. Athlete. Were you wondering if something's on fire over there and you realize it was Tim? <laughs> uh, this is the wet rice paper, and your mission is get two. Two layers? Uh huh. Uh, don't mess it up like that. This is like right. This is felt version. Keep it like that. And then put them in here. See that? Some vegetable oil. Don't put too much because you need to put a lot of things else. And tomato, and cucumber. No sneezing. Beside Finney's obvious excitement on her face to be in her first cave finally. I mean, you can tell how different this is going to be right away because we're now walking on like concrete paved paths with uh, like handrails and stuff. So careful, don't touch anything. Through the passage. I mean, to be fair, we're 
the reasons I might have been sweating so much earlier is my entire back was covered with PVC back. <laughs> yeah, it's not very breathable. I mean, let's be real, there is a max size of person that can go on this. Too. Yeah, I, I wonder if like, some people show up and they're like, you can't go. <laughs> Holy crap, that's so awesome. So yeah, you'll let him in the backpack. Yeah. That's how you go, you like face this way. You push uh -huh. yourself up and get something about like stay up. Stay up. Yeah. Unreal, unreal. <laughs> Ten minutes into the first game, this is perfect. Oh my gosh, look at your foot, holy cow. The problem is this can't get better than this. Wow. We're still coming. <laughs> right foot up here? Okay, right foot. Right in the middle there? Yeah, right middle. Okay. And hold this one or that one. Okay. Uh, stay high. Stay. Well, I'm very tall, it'll help. Maybe I can go through a little Think skinny. Okay. Two goals. Even though my legs over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Wait for it. Nice. Stay really high. Stay high. Oh, let's see. Higher. High. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. Heady first. Oh yeah, your shoulders are like just so. There we go. <laughs> nice, I feel Tim. Like Good idiot. job. My zipper stuck. There we go. <laughs> Good job, Indiana Jones. Oh, I don't think my head's gonna fit through this one. No, no. Nope. Stay low. Stay low. Just get low. Good job, Lou. Oh, I want the pro way. Great. That's fine. It's like real right away. Yeah, slow, slow, slow. slow. This is heavy and right. slow. Don't I be sorry. Like a good girl. <laughs> Obstacle one. Check. Oh, oh, oh my God. Where is he? That's almost on the pole. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my. I think maybe sleeves are better for me because I feel more protected. <laughs> so now 15 minutes in, you got to cram through a little hole and you found a huge cave spider. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just not go. I mean, I don't want to put my hand up next to him. He, he's like, how big? Okay, stop shining the light. He's like six inches. <laughs> Spiders. Oh, my God. like just it being on the screen right now. That's just my hard no. That's just a hard no. And we just get up here and it's at face height. It is the same diameter as a human head. I mean, it. It's got some nice coloration on it too, so it's just like oh my god, attention getting spider. What if that like jumped out at us on? We should have held a banana up to it for scale. You like, were too scared to hold the like even GoPro at the stick out towards it. That sounds. That's why we don't have anything. Kind like of perspective, closer. yeah. Oh, Cause look at how far away. And then you're yeah, like, it's bigger than your hand. Like not the body, but the whole the whole oh, like yeah. spread. And then like it pans over and you just kind of get that perspective of like the fact that we have to crawl through this tiny hole that's right next to <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, everyone just left me here with the spider. <laughs> Don't worry everybody, me and the spider will have a happy life together. Well, you can talk about your mutual love of caving. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. Keep going. Is it pretty? Is it a kitten? But I'll not show you now. When do we get to see it? Uh, when you get out of here. 
I don't want to like make you freaking. Ooh, I hope it's a green viper because we already saw a spider. <laughs> we already saw everything on the list. <laughs> it's not green viper. It's a horn viper. Wait, seriously? Huh? Do you say to go? What? So as we are leaving our first cave, then he's like, I have a secret for you, but I won't tell you is until you leave. Is it a secret or a surprise? Oh, <laughs> maybe it was a surprise, <laughs> which I appreciate because I would not have liked that, but he was calling out and then he said, give me the GoPro. I don't know if we have it on camera, if he got yeah, that in is. there. He saw it. But uh, we saw, or he found a horned viper which he's only seen five in his several years of doing this. And you need medical attention within 24 hours if it bites you. Otherwise, then you lose your appendage in which it bit you. So, happy that we all made it through. <laughs> It takes less than 10 minutes of being out of the cave before you're ready for another cave right away. I think I might take cave looking at a spider over. Let's see. I mean, it is. Okay, spider, batter, horn viper. Top down. We had Baby Hill was our first hike. This one is Father Hill and then Mother Hill, and then camp. I'm excited to meet this family. <laughs> we'll see what father means. Because it was a big baby. It was maybe like a teenager. other side of Instagram. <laughs> We're just gonna have mud all over our asses. Just be sweating, stinking, disgusting for four days. <laughs> Sorry. That's what it is. There's your Pinterest moment, yeah. It looks a little bit like you pooped your pants. I think I speak for everyone in line behind me here that I'm really excited to hear this waterfall. Everybody else is waiting for this. <laughs> Come on, Finn! The rest of the day is easy now. We just go in a cave. It'll be nice and cool. That hike, those three hills, Hitting that waterfall the first day, you'll see a trend in these videos as we start to carry less and less. By the fourth day, people are just stripping down in, in their underwear the instant they see water. But now we're being a little conservative. We're just keeping clothes on and like Well, we weren't really gently sure getting it. Yeah, what the whole deal was because we know that we have more to do this day. This was just the break. We weren't done. We quickly learned though, if you see water and we're not on our march, we were in that water. <laughs> I think, I think arriving at the waterfall for me was just a representation of how long I was realizing this whole thing was gonna be. We had an early morning wake up, I like, can't breathe, 
you know, car ride out there. I'm stuffy. My eyes are watering. Then we get ready to go. Then we trek into the jungle. Then we go into a cave. We see the scariest spider I've ever seen in my life. We see a deadly snake. We hike over three mountains after two and a half hours. We get wet in all of our clothes sitting in this waterfall river, which you know, beautiful. is beautiful, but yeah. you are so stressed. I was hardly taking any of that in. It feels better when it's earned, right? As we're splashing around in the water, just enjoying life again, Finny, of course, is asking if the cave is optional. Uh, are the caves on this cave tour? They're optional, right? I prefer the waterfall. <laughs> yeah, because like we're sleeping here tonight, and this is camp. We just got here, and then like we're going up behind the waterfall into the cave and coming back. So like, can I just stay here and be really happy? First choice. supposed to go out and go into the cave and then come back I'm like can you just leave me here at camp like you guys go do <laughs> your thing and that's when I knew we were getting an amazing value it was gonna be everything you had hoped for that's on the cave point. tour that's a good point yeah that's because just the beginning to everything that is frustrating if you're on a tour and you're like I wish we could see more or we're, we keep stopping yeah. and resting and you're this was not that this was push, push, push. <laughs> we were like, stopping and resting more than... <laughs> yeah, we were the slowest people. Everything you normally can't do when you're in caves, doing tours, you could do there. And everything where people would be like, this is too dangerous, people have died here, or there's a high risk. It was just go, go, and it wasn't holding your hand. It's make your way through there, you'll figure it out. <laughs> After a cave, a king viper, a spider, three hill climbs. They couldn't get any better. You have to go swimming in a cave. I just don't want to be sick anymore. That's fair. Ready to get in the longest cave in the Tulang Cave system, Can Cave. It's about 3.6 kilometers long. But we just get in about 500 meters. Okay. Yeah, we're That's gonna fun. go all through because uh, somewhere we're just for researching only. Oh. It's so tight, so narrow, so strong currents. When you swim, based on using your hands only, okay? Set your leg free sometimes. Or if you kick your legs, kick them on the surface of water. Don't kick so deep in the water. Okay. You may hit rock, you know? <laughs> okay. All right. Remember the rules: no tripping, right. no running, no cannonballs. No cannonballs onto the sharp rocks. I'm a little worried you're doing everything on day one, and then like you're just gonna be bored the rest of the time. Right. We've done it all. Spider, viper, swimming in a cave, swimming in a waterfall. It's the one day. You can really do the one day. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. See ya! Just... <laughs> I'm so floaty right now. So floaty. Way better with a life jacket. This is one of those rare cases where you're happy to wear the tour life jacket. Our instructions are to not swim with our feet. Because we don't want to kick any rocks. And since I'm holding the camera, it's very much a one arm. <laughs> <laughs> this is swim class. This is like toddler swim classes. I want to take you on a tour over here. <laughs> to what? <laughs> the world we're leaving behind. There's butterflies everywhere. <laughs> Beautiful waterfalls and trees. And then we're going in here. Bats. And all the other things that we saw earlier. <laughs> Since Tim's only one-armed, I give him a little toast. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who knew this would be so tranquil? This is tranquil. Now that I'm in the water, I'm definitely thinking the warm weather tours is definitely the way to go. Because the cold weather tours 
I mean, the water's really nice, but like, if you were scared or nervous, and then you get into cold water, and it just makes you kind of like shiver that much more, it would probably not so fun. Okay. <laughs> That was fun. I, I kind of liked that. That was the thing I was most scared about. But that was fun. And the list of things that Finny thinks are going to be terrible that turn out great continues to grow. Now we go in the water careful. Oh. Whoa. Oh shit. Since I carried the backpack all day, my reward is I don't have to swim out of here. Allison's just gonna push me. It's more like a side stroke. Swimming was the least scary thing out of all of it. So we made it through two swims. Oh, I guess we made it three swims. And lights off moment in the cave. Don't do a pencil dive, that's what I think. Do I have a good place to put my other foot though? Right here on this uh, ledge. Like, sit your, sit your ass down where it's flat and then... Uh... This is what you pay for. This is what we wanted. This is the best. Oh when other places they stop, um, it says go. Oh, we can go down in there. Yeah. yeah, you can swim right now, right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go up and wait for me over there. Okay. Okay. I think this is actually okay. my favorite part right now. Oh, it's deep. Oh, it's deep. <laughs> Take us for a tour of your tent and the amenities in here. Oh yeah, I was fine. I feel like crap, so all I wanted to do was sleep. I don't even know what's in here. Tim's sweaty body was here. <laughs> and then my tissue stash is there. What's up, guys? <laughs> and um, 
These were our pillows. And we're on, we're on pads. It's okay. It's comfortable-ish. <clears throat> but better than that. It's trip travel gear packing cube. No, it works even better as a pillow. It's a little bit more moldable than... Look at you just plugging away first thing in the morning. <laughs> Can you show me the sleeping bags that were the last thing you wanted to touch last? Remember how I always joke you should bring a piece of fabric? <laughs> this is the most comfortable bed sheet. Because... Otherwise it was a sheet of plastic. <laughs> this was just like so sweaty and then like this was just like... So that's why you always bring a piece of fabric. But all things considered, like, it's a nice tent. This is, like, nice stuff. But I think this is more designed to, like, keep you warm. And it's, like, unusually hot right now. So everyone was dying a little bit. I talked to some other people on our trip. And I can vouch personally. All I did was lay there and sweat on my back. I'm, I'm surprised I don't have a hangover from being so dehydrated. I just sweat. The thing, my mat is soaking wet. No, no one slept like Uh, not that I've seen, yeah. Oh, yeah. I slept for probably 12 hours because I slept like basically through dinner. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sweating just sitting here. I gotta get out. Day two. This is like everything that you want to do. This is ab sailing day. Oh yeah. I mean, this is one of the reasons we booked this is to abseil into darkness. Abseiling, you know, rope. You're into like going darkness. down. Yeah. yeah. You're either SWAT or you're not, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, cool. I don't have a problem with heights or anything. Like, this was, I was excited about this. I wasn't scared about. Yeah, and I am afraid of heights, truly. But that means you should confront your fear. And we're better to confront your fear than inside a cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spa day or repel day? <laughs> They're one and the same, because it's like a sauna, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this has got to be way worse for the guys. <laughs> a little context about what we're doing today. We are sailing, obsessing. Uh, we are descending down into a cave using this contraption, and this is our practice run at the base camp. So we're extra careful when we're in the cave. All I had to do was stand here. <laughs> I feel safe. Tell us your thoughts and feelings, so tell us about safety. You can never be too careful with this. But it is kind of like, uh, like skydiving and stuff. Just, and everything's safe. I feel like it is the equivalent of when you go on like a rafting trip or something and they make you wear the life raft in the bus for an hour and a half before you get to the river. But you can never be too careful. I'm not gonna lie, Doug. I just extended my hand because I thought Finny was behind me and I didn't realize till you asked. <laughs> well, I'm glad you have needed. that trust. <laughs> I would have slipped without you, so it's a good thing you did. Here. 
Okay. Wrath, now jungle track, and then maybe cave. I guess the mo, and this is really specific that you can remember this, it was not a good way to gently put your weight onto the harness. You just had to butt down and swing out. When you're first Because it's starting. one thing when you're just sitting in a harness and you kind of push already, because you have that, because uh, we've done stuff like that before. You have You that don't feel that you're confidence. secure yet. Yeah, yeah you it's were locked in and then you had to trust fall. swing your leg across the side because it was, yeah, it was too high up. You couldn't sit down onto the we ground. We were team building. That's what I was doing. Trust That's fall, why It was building. a trust fall over the black abyss and you couldn't see what was down below. Down into the black abyss. Here we go. As long as I don't hit my face on this. <laughs> you know, vacation. Okay, the heart rate definitely speeds up when you look over the side. Holy shit. Doug, you didn't tell me it was scary. Are you connected in? Yeah, I'm double connected. I was over there being all confident and stuff. Just keep looking this way. Holy shit, that's nasty. Everyone's alive down there, right, Bone? Hmm? Everyone's alive down there? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> They're pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we we'll let it go, okay? Never. Alright, this hand can hold this one to so steady balance. Yeah, you can sit down. <laughs> okay, okay, Bone, well, no big deal. Just sit down and swing over the cliff. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then swing over the rope. Make sure you don't take that. Yeah. You got this, Cave Cricket. Yep. Yeah. The swing. Whew. Okay. That was way scarier to standing there. This feels better actually than standing. Ready to go? No. Keep. I just control speed with right hand. Keep holding your right hand. Don't let it go now. Okay. Yep. Got I'm it. Ready. Ready. Uh huh. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good position. Just okay, I'm gonna look. Okay, uh, move to your left a bit. Move to your left. There we go. You look like a spider right now. <laughs> We're coming off this cliff and the only thing below you is a river. And so they're holding this kind of whitewater raft type thing under you as you come down, what was it, maybe like 50 feet or something? Yeah, yeah. You see the orange mat? Don't step on that, step both sides. Got it, okay. It's quite slippery on that. They're just having a boat party down there. <laughs> Are they? I'm trying to light up behind you, but it's just so dark. You can't see anything but the abyss. My body cool right down there, so I'm making a very short step. Okay, I see that. Yeah, that's more than 
Bye, Finn. Oh my god, she's gone. <sighs> Finally. Can you relax? <laughs> You don't hear that. Why are you laughing at? Don't pretend that you don't hear that. <laughs> How's the boat party, guys? You guys got any beer down there or what? <laughs> oh my god, look at you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, just like come down? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. <laughs> Wait. Oh, so, wow, that was awesome. Yeah. How's she doing? Already <laughs> She's a fast one, huh? Nice. She's got those long legs, dude. She is a spider. Got me! <laughs> Zofie! <laughs> nice Thanks, guys. Good job. Good <laughs> 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 Alright, we're good? All right, sit down and swing over that. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Wong. I can go. Ready? Yep. Up selling! Whoa! Yeah! Wong, you gotta let me go, dude. I got a commando. Yeah. I, did, I didn't hold you. Oh, it's just me actually being scared. <laughs> Good job, Tim. Come on, rope, let's go. There we go. Yeah, thanks. Hello. Good job, Tim. You have something on your butt. <laughs> yeah, that's typical. I can't go faster, I'm trying. I can't go faster, I'm trying. <laughs> the rope, the hardware for abs, like, you should be able to control your own speed doing it. Was, <laughs> it was sort of bent up and the rope was stuck. So I couldn't go faster. I felt like a circus clown. I was going so slow. Well, yeah, but what happened? It was just the, the, pulley thing was wedged with the rope a certain way it I'm not a big ab sailing expert so I can't I can't tell you in detail yeah, like what everybody was wrong. Else did just it went and yeah and I took 25 minutes of people took naps while I was doing it I have zero tension on this rope but it's like not going do you have this like same thing? Like it only goes so fast. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, rope. <laughs> Keep going. Go through there. Maybe I need some WD-40 or something. Whoa. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> you can't pull it out with your left hand. I no. I. <laughs> It wouldn't matter if I pull. I have 185 pounds pulling against it already. <laughs> I know, I wasn't bullshitting. <laughs> I'm glad that you, your first impression that I was doing it wrong. Yay! Good job. Sit here and tell us all your thoughts. Was it scary sitting down? Oh. Uh, I just thought about you being brave. Because you were very brave up there. Uh -huh. And then I wasn't scared anymore. <laughs> How did you do? I'm afraid of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> but you became a spider. Yeah. You turn your fear into your strength.
That was awesome. That was awesome. That was so fun. I don't know if it was necessary. I don't know if this is like the only way to get from point A to point B, but it was something fun to do. It's the funnest way to get from A to B. Hard to see when you come out of the cave. Okay. Thank you. This morning, swimming with pants on. <laughs> our favorite thing to do. This is the new kind of best swimming, swimming with pants. Pants and socks. Feels so good. Oh, it actually kind of feels good. Oh. Yeah, it feels great. Oh, it was so hot. <laughs> well, all for that. Now we're just being wet for four hours. <laughs> This is small. Okay. Where is it? It's really uh, nice. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's really small. A lot of people have them as a pet. Yeah. Because they're fuzzy, you can pet them. <laughs> they're like an eight legged puppy. This does look insane. <laughs> it was insane. <clears throat> yeah, we're hiking through this cave now. We entered dry yesterday. In, well, in the video from last week, we swam into the cave entrance. This time it was so weird to be walking through a dry cave and then we started to hear the waterfall and you just don't know what's coming up and then we just get to this underground waterfall. Just. <laughs> Do we try to stay dryish? Do we get wet again? And you just follow the leader right into the water. So we get in above where the water is falling and have to start swimming upstream. <laughs> Wait till my mom watches this and just freaks. <laughs> oh my God. Nice. One of the other great things about this is very much, well, it's not the blind leading the blind. <laughs> All of the tourists on this are kind of blind as to what's next. It's always just keep following the leader. And if uh, the tour guide tried to explain every last thing that we were going to see, he would be talking nonstop. But you're in a river. It just starts getting narrower. There starts being little offshoots on the river. You just keep your eyes on the light ahead of you and keep going. But as Meanwhile, it's getting narrower, like, going. how narrow is it going to get? <laughs> but you look up, I mean, if you're claustrophobic, <laughs> which we're not, that wasn't that was something that was bothering me in the cave. I just was thinking about all the things that were like swimming or something in the water, but you look up and it's dark. And sometimes you could see the ceiling up there or something. Times it was so high that it was just black and you have deep water that you're swimming in and can't touch the ground. And then two rock walls on either side of you like this. This is ridiculous. What? Well, look, there's three. Oh, sticks. You say, oh, sticks. They were kept being these I mean, sticks, like little, like log, <laughs> but they were, they were big sticks. They were logs and you'd see them in the distance and you'd be like, is that a water snake? 
Do we talk the entire time you're swimming in the water? You can imagine just a horror movie happening, uh, something coming out of the water. You just you keep replaying that in your brain every time, just out, just out of the distance of the reach of the light, something <laughs> rises through the water. Yeah, and then but and it was the stick because it was like it was just this shadow because it was you couldn't see anything. It was so dark, and then you kind of be getting closer to it. (laughs) This is the complete spa experience because after we sauna all day, then we spa here because it's like 90 degree water. It's really hard. I feel like this is some sort of great escape or like we're pulling off a heist right now. And this is the end of it, finally. Just had lunch. It's definitely the hardest part of the day. While we are in this beautiful, serene setting next to a waterfall and everything. It's just, you just can't, in no circumstances, have a comfortable way to put back on wet clothes when you are finally dry and warm. It's just gross. (laughs) Swimming in clothes is just normal. Get in the water, wet! And you're just like, whatever! <laughs> we just started after lunch. We have four hours of hiking to go, and the only swimming I think is right here. And we're just gonna be wet the whole afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is just me being careful today. I mean, you can almost just like. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a current. We're going the wrong way. At this point, I don't remember ever being dry. <laughs> Just like... They're just a young man's words. <laughs> sharing your shampoo. Now my hair will be wet forever, but it is clean and not smelly and it feels so good. It's called camp baths in a bucket. <laughs> I don't have a mic and I feel like I'm always giving bathroom tours, but I'm sure everybody's interested in this one. It's just a toilet seat with a bucket underneath and you got a scoop with de-riced rice kernel or stuff, you know. Just, you grab a bucket of rice stuff and throw it on there. Wait, that's the spot? (laughs) The third day of the tour, we were we were the fellowship. All we did was walk. The whole trip is 32 kilometers, and we did 18 kilometers of that trek on day three. 18 kilometers. That's not even that much. That's not a big deal. Well, when you're in the jungle going up and down mountain, it is a big deal. Carrying everything. Carrying a lot of things. The porters, of things. The porters were also carrying stuff. The porters who were two times stronger and five times braver carried the heavy <laughs> stuff. Come on. But we still had our bags. Found out the reason why we're all dying because they've been talking in Celsius this whole time and they're like, oh, it's 37 today, it's 40. Oh, today's the hottest at 43. And we're like, wow, that sounds really hot. Yeah, well, apparently it's 110 degrees. So no wonder everyone is dying. Good morning from the jungle. 
This is the jungle bath. The jungle bath. This is our way of cooling down before we hike all day. <laughs> it's an it's all day hike. Yeah. yeah, no caves today unless we make really good time. So it's like cool down beforehand. <laughs> This is one of the only rivers that's actually cool. All the other ones are hot. <laughs> You think you were dry for the day? I'm gonna capture these guys capturing the butterflies. Get in there, get those butterflies. Guys, they're not scared. Oh, it's so pretty! Cinderella? <laughs> Awesome idea. <laughs> you just disappear into the woods. <laughs> Of course, everything, we're the tallest people going through. So everything, <laughs> this is very much made for somebody who's all of five, the six or shorter. All of was like all down here. Everything's here. Like going through this tunnel of jungle. The giant wood spiders too love making their webs at human head height. That's so a that's thing. That's something that's to like keep out. A thing that you can read on the internet. For. Yeah. So you need to be alert. You just don't rank and file and walk behind something. You can't just keep like, looking at your feet to not I'm looking trip. for because... thorn branches, spiders, maybe a snake. And we got them all that last day. <laughs> kilometers today. Yep, just one of 18 kilometers. Go this way, everyone. Follow me. I know the way. Jesus. <laughs> Definitely this way. Oh, also, we're surrounded by death spikes. But death spikes, you know, less scary than deadly snakes. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is, I gotta stop filming and like, not f off anything. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Well, there's more. <laughs> The jungle we've been walking through is half Jumanji, wow. half Predator, and just a little sprinkle of Jurassic Park in there. Fly, butterfly. Come on. Come on, butterfly. Take off. You're very pretty. Oh, there goes. <laughs> we made it to camp. I don't know what to say. It's last night, so it's like feast meal. So it's gonna eat till you cry. Yes. This chicken? No, uh, pork rib. Oh, okay. Is this your favorite part of the day? 
I think it's everybody's favorite part of the day. <laughs> Every single meal has been a feast. Like, I kind of expected a lot of granola bars and that sort of thing. But, you know the phrase, like, an army marches on its stomach? I just... We have not been able to finish the amount of food that has ended up on the table for each and every single meal. More. That's gonna go. Chicken. Chicken. Gah. 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 He, he knew what I was done. I'm trying. Yeah. Eight points for trying. Hold up, let me try chicken first. Make sure it's safe or not. It was the hottest day and then it was obviously the hottest night going there um, on the riverbank. So then I tried to sleep in the tent and it just it, it was a boiler in there. Like I soaked through my mat just laying on it just like bare bodied. So after Allison was in tucked away from the spiders into the middle of the night after it got dark I grabbed my mat and I walked on down to the beach and just Spiders and it snakes. Was, it wasn't a, that was on the beach. You know, it was like this the part of land by the river. And spiders path. and snakes be damned. I just laid there, and sand was blowing, and it was it was a beautiful all open porters, sky over All the porters yeah. were also laying there. He it was just it was porters. too hot to sleep in a tent, and even the tents were just all mesh. It was just too hot to be under anything. Once you left, it wasn't that it cooled down so much in the tent and I went to bed or something. I was sitting there by myself, surrounded by spider silhouettes, in my bra and underwear, soaking wet, and I had my face pressed up against the screen and I was sucking air through the screen to just, I was trying, I felt like I was a prisoner and that was my little straw hole of air that you I should have had me out on or the something. Beach. That was scarier to me than suffocating in the tent. <laughs> we could have split snake watch. Instead of counting sheep, I just kept an eye on the grass to watch for things slithering towards me. And it's exhausting, you get to sleep really quickly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so this is a great segue to you now to talk about finishing the trip and the two, like that last day. But it was hot enough that no one here slept. So this morning we're all enjoying breakfast and coffee at the local water cafe. Yesterday's 18K through the jungle bushwalk was certainly the most intense of the three days. Physically, I guess. And I don't know if anyone really knows what we're doing today, but I think I was trying to mentally get ready. Because you just, just don't know what to expect in the jungle. But everyone knows one thing for certain. When you're eating hot soup, <laughs> you, have, you have to do it in the river because you just We've all lost 14 pounds. Well, some of us stuck it out in the tent because they were too afraid of spiders and bugs. Others of us came down to the riverbank last night and I slept right there and all the guides and porters slept over there. And it's really easy to fall asleep when you're looking for snakes coming out of the grass. Allow us to show you the carnage from just one night. It was so windy. And then all of the tents are askew because we all were trying to like face into the wind with the doors. And then this pad Tim took out to go sleep by the river. And then there's just like clothes that were drying and went flying everywhere. Uh, the changing room back there was just like all of the metal on it was making so much noise. Half these clothes are probably gonna throw away because they're just like so wrecked. That's the destruction of the Toulon four day. Parkour! 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 He already got it. Oh, I don't want to 
<laughs> we found the best cave. This one has air conditioning. It's like a centipede clip. You want that now? I have a very funny song in Vietnamese and in English as well. Oh, okay. Two versions. Một vời một là hai, hai đây mai là bốn, bốn với một là năm, năm với năm là mười. And an English song. One and one are two, two and two are four, four and one are five. Five and five, a ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's a math song? <laughs> yeah, that's my song. <laughs> We're learning then. <laughs> At this point in the thing, we people have got rolled ankles. Our our buddy Doug is struggling in the heat. Oh yeah. I might have been. I had to drink some salt pills because the guide thought I was dehydrated. And all you're doing is slamming water the whole time, and they still. But it doesn't matter. We were so drenched in our own sweat. Yeah, we're taking. He didn't know that it's tablets. just because I'm very weak and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are loopy. People are throwing up. Yeah. There's. People Black. ate very light lunches that last day. Nobody had an appetite. If anything, yeah. People are eating rice. It's day four, of course. Like, well-organized, like a Disney ride or something, the hardest stuff is last. The little hour truck, and it's over 100 degrees now, or as our friends from the metric system say, like, plus 40. We're not even gonna film it so hot. We have a hard truck. Our I fearless know. leader said it's going to take an hour. I guarantee it's an hour and a half. We'll see you in the van with a cold beer. This is f***ing ridiculous. But in my mind, when this video gets edited, the very next scene is going to be me slamming an ice cold beer so I can keep moving a step at a time. <laughs> Probably smelled Poor so driver, bad. Yeah. But that AC felt good. We got to request one drink that we wanted. And so you were slamming the beer at the end, but I thought you were gonna immediately throw it up. I mean never. You never shotgunned a, a beer after all of that. And I got the extra one. Not somebody yeah. else didn't drink. Yeah. When you earn beer like that, it just tastes even more delicious. And it was probably lukewarm and not that great, but man, it was the best tasting beer in the world that day. It wasn't even relief when we finished. It was just, we still had to decompress a little bit. We weren't even <laughs> like, yay, we're done. It was just like, what is going on? <laughs> Now can we talk about it in retrospect? It was a great experience. It was so awesome. I would absolutely do something like that again. Maybe in the future, not as long. Maybe I'd go for the two-nighter instead of the three. But oh, wow. sometimes the difficulty, the ruggedness of the trip is what makes it so memorable. So the days kind of flow together, but the experience overall is very sharp, very clear in my mind, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what would be a cool, similar thing that I would be more into than cake because I was so scared of... Like a butterfly tent. <laughs> I, was just, I was just so scared that I couldn't enjoy it as much and then the heat was really, really hard. The heat was but hard for everybody, yeah. 
if it was really hard, but we were, I don't know, like on an African safari or something, and we were looking at giraffes in the distance, but we had to hike 18K and sleep outside and all that stuff to get there, but we were looking at giraffes and not spiders the size of our head. <laughs> if you like this new style of video that we're doing, hit a thumbs up so that we know that you like it. Um, of our interaction here, <laughs> kind of watching it along with you guys and you guys getting to hear a little bit behind the scenes. If you don't like it, leave sure a lengthy to... comment <laughs> at the bottom about how bad it is. <laughs> so I can read that first thing when I wake up in the morning. Question is, is it all worth it? This Sick. is so YouTube y right now. Why don't you Amazing. tell them about the notification bell? There's a notification bell. If you're familiar with the YouTube platform, <laughs> If you want to be notified to videos, then notify <laughs> notified means there's a little thing on your phone that goes ding ding. It has an a email. little picture. It's an email. You get an email <laughs> to the screen of your phone. Maybe the YouTube app also pushes a notification. That's probably how it works. It could, it's pro it, it could be both. <laughs> but the only way to find out is to like, notification. smash that bell and then see if you get both an email and an app, if you, maybe you don't have the mobile app downloaded and you're only a desktop user of the platform. I, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Wait, I really like when I get notifications for channels I like. Cause you're like, oh, hey, now you're a notification squad. Oh, uh, let's let everybody get back to their day. <laughs>